eight countries. We have six to seven in different categories from Asia. So Europe and America has to wake up. If not, this is going to be the Asian World Championship. The wake-up call has gone out, and we are all set now for the women's team bronze medal match to start the day. Korea versus Japan, a rematch from Antalya two months ago on Coney Alti Beach when Japan beat Korea. Now Korea would like to get some payback here today. Let's take a look at the team from Japan. First out of the King's Gate here at Christian Borg Palace. We're on the Palace Square, an iconic setting, a beautiful setting for this tremendous world championship event. Japan getting to the bronze medal match with a 5-1 win over North Korea, 6-1 win over China before losing in a shoot-off to India. So let's meet the three archers from Japan who picked up that gold medal on Kony Alti Beach just two months ago. Kawanaka Kaori, Hayashi Yuki, and Nagamina Saori. Saori, 22 years old, Kawanaka Kaori, 23 years old, and Hayashi Yuki, the veteran, at 30 years of age. So they have been tested, and they've gone up against Korea before, and they have come away with a gold medal. But Korea, I'm sure, has that in mind as they're let out of the King's Gate by the one and only and incomparable Ki Bo Bay. North, uh, excuse me, South Korea reaching the bronze medal match by beating France this week 5-1, to one, then scoring a 6-2 victory over Georgia in the quarterfinals, and then losing in a shoot-off to Russia in the semifinals. Yes, it's quite surprising Korea shooting for the bronze because everybody expected a woman, a record woman shooting for gold. And there was several comments during the week that the, the, the set system in teams is getting too short and too fast, and it's not really showing the difference of the team. It is what it is, and it can seem that any team can right now beat Korea, but Korea still have to make a, a strong fight for this to happen. Kibo Bay teaming up with Jamie Sun and Kong Che Young. Kong Che Young, 18 years old, same for Jamie Sun, and of course Kibo Bay, the former Olympic champion from London in 2000. And 12. Now, in recurve team events, there's three archers per team. Each shoots two times during each of the four ends. The bottom line, each nation shoots a total of six arrows per end, 24 for the match, and the winner is? That's a good question. I think the, we have to wait. The first till five, that's who it is. <laughs> yes, but I want to know what country. You want to know which country? <laughs> Whichever country gets to five first. Correct. And that's what we were discussing during the week, that uh, four sets sometimes go really tight, and some teams are asking for a fifth set, which makes the, the, the match a bit longer, and sometimes for TV this is a problem, but it's something we have to consider to make the competition interesting and fair at the same time. Kong Chi Young sticks a 10 to start the day. Chae Soon with the 10. Excellent start. Kibo Bay, who came back for a couple of years out of the national team and won the Universiat a month ago in Guangzhou and beat two world record. Her shot drifts into the aid ring. So 28 points on the first three shots for Korea. Now Japan. Japan, that was very happy. They, they both team has got the Olympic quota place for teams, so the three archers already qualify for Rio, and that took out a lot of pressure to both teams. And we will talk more about Olympic qualification as the morning goes on here on Archery TV. We are live in Copenhagen, Denmark, in the heart of the Danish capital. Hayashi Yuki. Stabs the nine ring. We can hear there's a lot of interaction in team, and this is something interesting. We have been seeing improving years after years. Now the teammates, they, they talk each other, they support each other, they give information about wind and form and keywords. So coaches and archers are interacting a lot during the match. Just bites the line. So 27 points in Korea with an early one-point lead. Ms. Kong. Wow, wow that's, <laughs> that's just in the center. 
Excellent grouping. Strikes gold again. We have to mention that the weather conditions today are excellent. No wind. It's not cold. It's not raining like has been this week. So conditions are perfect to make great scores. 17 degrees Celsius as that shot drifts just a little bit high for Che Mi Sun. And now anchoring this team, Kibo Bay, whom we shall see three times today. She's still a bit on the right. You can see she has been correcting the side. She's doing again, which is uh, very smart. She knows that the shot was good, was a bit on the right. So she's touching the side to make sure that the next is going in the center. Very good timing. They are also expansion. going right. Correct, a little bit on the right. We have to. Uh, Inform the audience that the warm-up field is in the other part of the palace and has a different orientation, so the light could change and uh, that can affect a little bit the, the left and right. The winds change. In, in the, as, as today is not too much wind, I don't think it's playing a factor, but could happen Shut yesterday, you. for example. But the orientation and the light is changing, and the archers see the string in close to the eye and they align it with the ball. Mm -hmm. So as soon as the light change, you don't see the string very clear. You see the shadow of the string. So that's what can make that they, it's a bit on the left and the right and the arrows group in different than in the practice nice field. Nice 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 Saori, 22 years old, ranked 153rd in the world, finishes off that end. We could see the Japanese yes. archer also correct. When the archer shoot the first arrow and he know that has been a good shot and trust that was not him but or her, that was the side, they just move very fast. The problem is when you make the first shots and you don't feel that it was a good one or not. And you don't know it was you or it was the wind or it was the line. Both teams, you could see they're very confident in the form. They know that was a good shot, so they touch the side very fast knowing that is this. So in our set system, the cumulative scoring has Korea winning that first set by 56 to 54. However, in the set system, two points go to Korea, zero points to Japan. So Korea on top, two nothing early on in the match. Good, they got the lead. And as I said before, it's going so fast and four sets is really not many that taking the lead is important right now. <laughs> it's not too much to come back. Not too much time. The teamwork is so critical in these team events because we saw it yesterday on uh, several occasions, Juan Carlos, that some of the archers were not left with an awful lot of time to get their shot off, to get a good shot off. We, we are stressing the archers. We are trying to make it a shorter time and have a bit more drama and, and have surprises. So really now the archers in the team match have to be very focused, very concentrated, and they have not too much time to think to do this. We could see the amazing shot of a super slow motion camera, how we see the arrows going out. And yesterday we saw some of the compound and you could see the tuning. If some arrows were better tuned or both were better tuned than another one. Excellent images from our TV team, Archery TV. Kawanaka Koori, leading off of the nine. Which no. also impressed yesterday a lot, most of the archers, the spectators. The stands were full, all sold out since two weeks and a great atmosphere. Tax on another 10, Hayashi Yuki. It's great to hear the comments of, on, of the coach. Unfortunately, we don't know what he's saying, but... <laughs> <laughs> as long as see. Hayashi Yuki or Nagamina Saori understands, then it's fine. Yeah. Solid shooting by Japan. Japan is a, is a team famous for having a good atmosphere. They smile a lot. They feel happy when they're shooting. They feel enjoying it. And I think this is making them unique in the circuit. They really have fun shooting, no matter how much tension is there. Kong Chae Young, who picked up three gold medals at stage one in Shanghai this year, lands a nine on her first shot of this second set. Another nine from Chae Mi Sun. We can see many Korean women. You can see the string, the, the, the mark of the string on the face. And for this, it's very important for Korean wow, archer to sure. feel a very good anchor awesome. point and they feel the string. And that's, you can see the string even when they don't have the bow and they're walking <laughs> on the street and you can see the mark of the string there for thousands and thousands of arrows that they do this. Indelibly embedded. Yes. 
in the nose and the chin. You can tell. You just have to listen to the coach, and you know <laughs> if that shot was in the ten ring. Yes, this is very common. Answers when they release, they know it was a good shot. And you know just when you release, it was going in, or it's not really what you wanted. Excellent. Japan is giving a good fight, eh? Yes. Down 2 nothing after the first set, trying to come back and tie it up at 2-2. Nagamina Soori, team gold medal in Antalya two months ago. And another 10, or excuse me, it's a 9. Because Kai was hidden by the other arrows. Three straight 10s right here would give this set to Korea. That will not happen. Now the best they can hope for is to tie in this set and split the set points. Beautiful image, excellent shot. And you can see Kibo Bay coaching her through that shot. Kibo Bay is, is a leader, is the most experienced one in the team, and we saw the university, and she's driving the the focus of the team and she's supporting and even that she has not made the best shots in the team she's the one keeping it strong and, mm -hmm. and mentally strong and fighting until the last moment very good shot and then leads by example so they come back they tie it up and they'll split the set points and the score goes to 3-1 in favor of korea But you're right, Juan Carlos. You can just see from those expressions, Japan just enjoying themselves. They always seem to be enjoying themselves. So much joy, and, and even when they lose, they, they know they did the best, and, and they're very good in winning, and they know how to lose. So it's a team to, to that set an example, and it's good to see archers that uh, they enjoy the pressure, they enjoy the, the competition, and they enjoy what's, what they have to do. Now, two years ago in Torino, Korea, with Kibo Bay and Jung Da Son Mi picked up the uh, bronze medal, I should say, in this event. In other years, Denmark, two years ago in Belek on the beach, captured the uh, bronze medal. They were led by Maya Jaeger that day. In Ulsan, 2009, it was Russia. Before that, Great Britain in Leipzig. In Russia, or I should say in Madrid in 2005, Russia came away with a bronze medal. And before that, Ukraine in New York in 2003, and the Netherlands 2001 in Beijing. So many countries. Many countries have been a lot of diversity, you know, in this bronze medal match. I would love to have seen that world championship in New York City. <laughs> that must have been fun. Yes, in Central Park, we had the finals. Amazing. Fantastic plays. Archery changed a lot since then. Oh, yes. But nothing to do with what we see right now here. Third set. Kamanaka Koori. Continuing her strong shooting. She made it individually to the 1 8th round this week here in Copenhagen. Keeping the pressure against uh, Korea. We see the reference that archers take on the string, mm. nose, hey, hey, mouth, hey, and chin. Hey, hey. Ayashi Yuki landing a nine. To make an accurate shot in recurve is much more important the position you put on the face than what you are aiming, because the end of the arrow is here, and there's a distance from the arrow to the eyes what gives you the accuracy. So the anchor point and how the reference you take in the face is really important to be accurate in the shot. So after the 10, the two nines for Japan. And Korea trying to better wow, that. Yeah. And they start off strong. King so, Feng Chae Young. So close to the cross, <laughs> to the center. Fantastic. Almost perfection. Jamie Sun, 18 years old, only a handful of international appearances. And here she is in a world championship wow. bronze medal match and shooting so well. They make Lou Kibo Bay like the softer <laughs> of the team. <laughs> Unbelievable. They are so strong, these two archers. Mole is not missing the 10. Here's the Olympic champion from 2012 in London. You see? <laughs> Drifts high. 
seems to be the, the one less in, in shape and the one that is not so accurate and is probably the most known archer right now. In right the now, world. youth yeah. is being served for Korea. And Korea with the advantage. She's keeping the spirit and she's keeping the villain because the other two archers are pretty young and has not so much international experience. So keep away is the balance of this of this team. Excellent. Almost Shot. dead center. Kawa Nakakaori. Raising the bar for Hayashi Yuki. Launches the missile, it but it lands in the red ring. Clearly, the expansion was not so secure. She knew that as soon as he shot, she react a bit. Probably was not aiming the center. The pressure is when now is the moment they know they can come back or they can lose it. So the pressure is a bit higher. It was a 10, which was needed after this eight. Much needed 10 from Nagamina Soori after the eight by Hayashi Yuki. But right now, Japan at the mercy of Korea. Wow. It's touching, it's liner, very line. I would say it's touching. Our HD cameras from Hit the Roof, Archery TV. Could that be fool's gold? This could be. I, I would bet it's a, it's a 10. Of course, we bet a coffee. Yes, coffee. Wow. There's no doubt it's a 10, this one. To make it clear. And this we were talking very much what is the system about, and it's about making a 10 when you need it. It's not about scoring, it's not about the point you do, it's about when I need to make a 10, this is the moment I have to deliver it. And right now, Kibo Bay just needs a nine to win and wrap this up and claim the bronze medal, and she gets it, and more, and more. Kibo Bay clinches it, closes it out. And if this nine, with asterisk is a 10. They finish with a 10-10-10, which is no better way to, to glitch the match and to finish it. They would have run the table. An overpowering performance and a little bit of payback for the loss to Japan in Antalya two months ago on Coney Alti Beach. Both teams performing very good, but there was just one arrow that one archer was a bit hesitating in the Japanese team, and that's make the difference of the match. Japan was keeping pressure, and Korea was keeping the level, and when it matters, Korea, uh, Japan did this 8, and Korea came with 10, 10, 10. And this is what the system, set system is about, is the delivering and doing the arrow when you need it. There is so little room for error, so little margin for error in this sport, and it seems to be getting more and more that way, Juan Carlos. You are totally right, Carl, and especially in the team competition. Four sets are really tight and, and fast, and even Korea was very concerned when they came to Copenhagen if they could make the qualification for Olympic, and this is something unbelievable. Just two years ago, Korea, of course, will make the, the spot. Here, they were not so sure, and uh, they got it in men and women. They're very satisfied with that, but they have not 